Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Akshata, a 4th year family student. As you all know that family is of 6 years course, 5 years of academic year and 1 year of internship. So our hospital practice or hospital ward rounds begin from 2nd year of family. Yes, we do go to hospital rounds. We interact with the patient, we collect the case, we counsel the patient, we analyze the case and uh, review the medications and much more. So, some of you may have uh, doubts like what actually family students do at the hospital grounds. About these all the things I will be going to talk in this video. Without further ado, let's begin. First, I would like to tell you about this form. We call it as a patient profile form. So, whenever we have hospital ward rounds, we make sure that we carry this form with us. This form is in so format that is S for subjective, O stands for objective, A stands for assessment, P stands for planning. In subjective part, it includes the information about the patient age, gender, present complaints means the what the symptoms made the uh, patient to admit to the hospital and the history of the present complaints from how many days the patient is suffering from the uh, symptoms and next family history. And past history, it includes whether the patient is known case to any disease or not. And next, personal history and diet history, it includes the patient diet, appetite, sleep and bowel and bladder information. And next is past medication, it includes the uh, before admitting to the hospital, whether the patient is taken any medications or not, like OTC medication or any other medications. So these all comes under the subjective part. Next coming to the objective part. In objective part, it includes the information like general physical examination means whether the patient is poorly built or moderately built. And next is the on examination. It includes the patient blood pressure, pulse rate and oxygen levels. And also whether the patient has pallor, edema, lymphadenopathy, icterus, cyanosis and also club vision. In systemic examination, patient CNS, CVS, respiratory system and abdomen information are included. So next is the laboratory investigation. So it includes the hematology, biochemistry, renal function test, liver function test, urine analysis, electrolytes levels and also the lipid profile test. And it also includes the uh, x-ray reports also. All these tests are not advised to the single patient because lab tests are advised based upon the uh, patient's signs and symptoms. If a patient has complaints of burning menstruation, then urine analysis will be advised. If a patient has pallor positive like uh, paleness of the skin, then hematology test will be done. And if the patient complains with the abdominal distension like Pain in many parts of the abdomen, then USG abdomen test will be advised. So, based upon the patient's sign and symptoms, the lab test is advised. Next, coming to the assessment part, here it includes the diagnosis of the patient. Like, based upon the subjective and objective part, the uh, patient disease condition is diagnosed in the assessment part. Next is planning. Here it includes the treatment plan of the patient. As in India, we pharmacists do not have rights to write the prescription. So, in hospital sector, the PG doctors will prescribe the medication to the patient. And our actual roles begin from here. We pharmacists should review the medication and find the possible drug interactions. And also, we have to make the patient to understand about the disease condition and about the medication to inform the patient about the common area of the each drug like if the patient is prescribed with the folic acid then there will be a yellowish color of the urination so these kind of common things should be informed to the patient next it includes the physician notes like day one day two day three uh, instruments of the patient and also it, it includes the discharge medications so that's all of the about this form during our ward rounds, we interact with the patient and we get to know about the symptoms they are suffering from and collect the abnormal lab data and review the medications. So our main role is to counsel the patient and discuss with the patient about their lifestyle modification. Like if the patient is suffering from the diabetes or hypertension, 
discuss with them about the diet plan and daily intake of sugar and also salt and during your hospital practice if you notice any kind of drug interactions or adrs you can report to the adr monitoring center before reporting make sure that you have to discuss with the healthcare professionals first and then you can uh, move to the further procedure that's all for today hope this video is helpful to you all meet you all in the next video until then take care bye bye